Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Thursday, August 5th, 2021. I'm the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. Welcome to National IPA Day. It's the first Thursday in every August. It's National IPA Day. Well, you know what? And it wasn't created by a brewery. It wasn't created by uh, you know, a marketing manager somewhere at the beer store or the LC. But it was created by people who drink beer. It's the 10th anniversary. I did not know this, but it is. Uh, you know, If I can find it, I'll leave a link down below. You can go read the story of it. And I get it. And some people, you always hear them and they say, well, you can drink IPA every day. I do drink IPA every day. But it's nice to have a day to celebrate things, isn't it? Just for no reason. Now, I happen to be off on Thursdays, so pretty much every year off on IPA day. I don't do it intentionally, but I, I probably would. Um, tomorrow's National Beer Day, and it's also the start of my vacation. So this is a very good two days for me. From our friends at Collective Arts, new IPA number 18. We're in the 18th version now. I believe, and I'm not, don't quote me, this is similar or the same as the one that was released in Toronto, which I think is a great uh, testing ground. You know, they can brew smaller batches there to see how they recede, see if people like them. Uh, it is a coconut and key lime IPA with sexy, sexy sabro and motu wake hops. 6.4%, uh, beautiful as always. Picked up the new audio visual, just new can. And we picked up my OG favorite IPA from the beginning. From the very beginning was Ransack the Universe. Used to be called a Hemispheric IPA. Now known as a West Coast IPA. We have many more IPAs in the fridge. Clearly can't drink them all today because there are things that need to get done. And, you know, I still got to work one more day. Let's get into this, though. So enjoy IPA day. I, I, and, and, and just celebrate things. And enjoy them. And things just blow through the camera like that. I don't know if you saw the napkin from last night's dinner. Blew off the table. Um... I, I mowed the lawn already. I did the dump run. Uh, Mrs. Polk had never been to the dump before the other day the last week. I took her. This is the dump. This is where you take your garbage. Uh, it was very fun. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Lime and coconut. Let's go. Cheers, my friends, to Collective Arts for just being Collective Arts. You know I love you. Cheers. Lime really gets you. Um, so Motueka is a New Zealand hop. You guys know I love New Zealand hops. And Sexy Sexy Sabro is one of my all-time favorite hops. Well, relatively newly favorite, but you get what I mean. This is big pineapple-y, um, lime, coconut. There's some berry notes. It's got a very citrus pithiness, a bitterness on the back, but it, it's tropical and juicy. If you like key lime pie, if you like lime, and you like pineapple, and you like the coconut... You are going to love this one. This is a very specific, specific beer. Um, I like it, but I like all those things. Weird, I never had key lime pie. I really feel like I need to try it now, but the pineapple here is shiny too, right? Like that's... Uh, it's summery intoxicating. Head kind of disappeared fast, but that's okay too. What you, what you going to do? You can't have it all. Like it's really tasty. Oh, that lime, it's not sour. There's this, you know, lime and pineapple, there's this almost like sharpness to it, the, the tanginess, the citric, oof, and I love that. I really do. This I like this when I had it from CA Toronto. Again, I, 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 I'm not good at remembering beers. It was about two months ago. But this is, I enjoyed it then. I enjoy it now. You can get it. This will be widespread. And this is the thing, too. If they're going to release this, you can get it. It'll be in the LCBO. It'll be available for delivery, all that stuff. Get get some get Good Monster. I did not buy any Good Monster. Now, Good Monster was their, their double IPA that they released this year as part of the core. And it quickly became my favorite Collective Arts beer. Um, but I wanted to I wanted to go back and have Ransack today because IPA Day, you got to go back to the OGs and try something shiny new. It's not even noon yet. And I rarely, and by rarely, I mean almost never do I ever have a beer before noon. Um not on purpose. I just usually don't, you know. But today I was up at 5 a.m. and I got a whole bunch of stuff done. And I felt like, you know what, if I get all this work done in the morning, if I put in the three, four, five hours work in the morning, I can take the afternoon to enjoy three or four pints and just do nothing but hang around the pool and listen to tunes. So there we are. Uh, get yourself your collective arts order in. If you're in the, the delivery zones that are close by, you can order same day. So that's good. Or you get it tomorrow. That's not shabby. So there you go. Cheers, my friends. Look out for this one. You're all CBO. If you like that coconut key lime pineapple, you're going to be a happy, happy drinker. IPA day. It's a beautiful thing. Cheers. I 
really like that. And I, how? Because six years ago, I wouldn't have been able to appreciate it. And now, I'm in love.